Sometimes people talk about uh, a spectrum between uh, faithfulness to the gospel on the one hand and creativity and beauty on the other hand, um, as though we need to find the exact middle point and to the degree that we become faithful, we are not being creative or beautiful or attractive and that kind of thing. And I think that would be a false way of setting things up. Um, it's not that if we're very faithful to the gospel, we're telling an ugly, hard, harsh truth. And it's not the, the, the fact that if we're just being exceptionally creative and beautiful and attractive, um, that we are necessarily being unfaithful to the gospel. I think the assumptions that underlie that kind of thing, and I hear it all the time, lots of people sort of say to me, oh, I, I like the videos that you do because it, it treads that narrow path between creativity and, and, and attractiveness. Um, but if you believe that there's a narrow path of creativity and attractiveness, you probably think that the gospel is a quite ugly truth, a quite harsh truth, um, a harsh reality that needs sugarcoating to some degree, but not too much because you want to remain faithful to the hard, harsh truth. What if the gospel is beautiful? What if the gospel is attractive? What if God is the great creator and has made us in his image to be creative? At that point, I, I refuse the dilemma. I don't, I don't think that there's this distinction, this division to be made between creativity and faithfulness. I think the more we are faithful to this gospel, uh, the more we will be inspired towards creativity and beauty. Look at, look at what you know, Christianity has inspired the church to do in the past. You know, the B minor mass, cathedrals, artwork, down through the ages. Um, it simply is a, it's, it's a false distinction to make between creativity and faithfulness. The more faithful we are, hopefully, the more faithful we are to a beautiful gospel.